Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. It's a traveling Tuesday, and we're traveling around. Or at least we did last month. We traveled from uh, Central California all the way up to Canada, Vancouver, and um, we stopped at some card shops along the way. I'm hoping to bring you some of those uh, card shops in the next couple of weeks in our Traveling Tuesday episodes. So let's have some fun. Our first stop was in Albany, Oregon. Yep, we stopped at Gergen Sports Cards. It's a in Heritage Mall. Gergen Sports Cards are located in Heritage Mall in uh, Albany, Oregon. Uh, one of the things that you want to do when you're going on long trips is take some breaks. I mean, we had been dri driving, I think, five and a half hours at this point. So... Find a reason to pull off to the side, take a stretch break, take a bathroom break, take a drink break, whatever. Non-alcoholic drink, of course. Um, and for us, when we go on long trips, why not uh, look for your local card shop and uh, take your break around there? So, yeah, Gergen Sports Cards, Heritage Mall, Albany, Oregon. That's where we stopped. So, yeah, the clip, it's short. <laughs> Unfortunately, in our country, we're having some economic issues and people feel that one of the ways to get around those economic issues is to break into stores. So I'm trying to keep these clips short, uh, show you the, the outside, uh, be ready for that, unfortunately. And there will be many more stories um, coming up and it's all over the country. Just unfortunately the hobby is a big target because there are some big ticket items out there um the more people want to invest in cards um <laughs> the more of a target it's going to be so like i said just going to try to keep it short this is the first of our traveling tuesdays from uh the northwest so let's get to it what did i find in the store i'm always looking for something that i probably can't find at my lcs um uh, with the advent of the internet, eBay, uh, Facebook Marketplace, whatever, you can find cards different ways. But I like to go to LCSs and check them out and see what might I not be able to find somewhere else. And I found Final Edition 1993 um, Fleer Baseball. Okay, I've mentioned on the, the channel, uh, when I was a kid, I collected baseball and basketball cards. Um, but I'm still trying to catch up on stuff that I'm missing. What holes are in my private collection? And you know what? I'm pretty sure I don't have the final edition of Fleer 93 Baseball. One of the other things that I got while I was at the store, and thanks to Eric and Tim, um, they were great. They were both at the store. All right. I found some BCW sleeves. I've talked before, I prefer the BCW sleeves over Ultra Pro, um, but they had the thick card sleeves. I haven't been able to find those around here. So I picked some of those up. Thanks. Uh, very happy about that. Um, but let's get to the cards. Enough talking. Let's see what we got. 93 Final Edition. You got Tom Glavin on the front. This is not going to be packs. This is like a mini box. You got the Hot Rookies, the Late season trades and the Rockies and Marlins. Yes, this is when the Rockies and Marlins just came into play. There's a 10 card diamond tribute. Huh. Subset included. Well, let's see what that's all about. Shall we? 310 cards in this box. So it's a 300 card set. It sounds like the, the final edition or what we call nowadays update. Um, and then the 10 card subset. I don't want to rip this. So, whoa, oh, missed one. All right. Almost had every card out at once. Here we go. It looks like they are not in numerical order because on the back, 161, halfway through, 158. They're not in order. That's all right. I'm not too worried about order. We're looking to find, you know, future Hall of Famers. We're looking for the rookies. We're looking for the inserts. Yeah, a little bit of uh, sticking, but that's expected. 
93. They're almost 30 years right next to each other. Uh, FLIR 93 is not UV coated. So it's just, you know, just gravity. That's all it is. Gravity sticking the pictures together. Happens to the best of us. Okay, here we go. We'll start right here. Or there. Okay, Let's setting that up. Who do we got? All right. Uh, we're looking for, like I said, Hall of Famers. We're looking for the rookie cards. Dave Stewart, not a Hall of Famer, but one of my favorite guys. And in a Blue Jays jersey. Yes! Very happy about that. You don't find those very often. He was only there, I think, for a year and a half. Um, but made a huge impact. Um, World Series champ. Yes, indeed. 93 Blue Jays. Okay, some Mariners, Mickey Sasser. He had been a longtime veteran. Um, with the old updates, you know, you're not going to get many stars unless they moved from one town to another, like a Dave Stewart there. Raul Mondesi. I believe that is a rookie card. Yes. Very nice. I'm going to toss him right there. Okay, Tony Fernandez, he had come back, yep, was with the Blue Jays, went to the Padres, went back to the Blue Jays, won another World Series. Greg Maddox with the Braves, future Hall of Famer. I'm going to put my Blue Jays here. I'm going to put the Hall of Famers and rookies there, notable rookies at least, um, that I notice. <laughs> Let's see. And, ooh, here we are. The Diamond Tribute Cards. Ozzy Smith, the Wizard. Andre Dawson, when he went to the uh, Red Sox. Okay. Both Hall of Famers. Both insert cards. Benito Santiago with the Marlins. Yeah, good catcher. Great defensive catcher. I think three or four-time Gold Glove Award winner. All right. What else do we got? Let's just separate these a little bit. And hey, you guys know this is authentic. I didn't just uh, put them back, wrap it back up, and go through it. Nope. Now, I'm going to probably pause after this little handful, and I'm going to go through and separate them. And then we'll come right back. Just giving you a little heads up on that. Mike Draper. Okay. Bottenfield, Greg Gagne. He won a series with uh, the Twins. I'll also, uh, ooh, Goose Gossage with the A's. Yeah. Hall of Famer there. Charlie Hayes, Key Brian's dad. Won a series with the Yankees. Ellis Burks with the White Sox. Castillo, my Blue Jays. Putting that up there. Jim Edmonds. Is that a rookie? Yes, it is. Jim Edmonds. Ooh. Good rookies right there. All right. And there we go. We're going to stop right here. I'm going to split them all up um make sure it's smooth sailing from here on out all right be right back all right so now i got that these all broken up and sorted and put in the right order didn't take any out but i do have the rookies over here jim edmonds we got the hall of famers goose gossage and we're gonna have a bunch of hall of famers so i'm gonna put the rookies actually up here in the upper left we got our inserts. Yes, we do. The uh, 10 diamond tribute cards that we'll be getting. Andre Dawson there. Ozzy Smith. Both Hall of Famers. Um, other Hall of Famer cards. Greg Maddox here. 
We got the other uh, star rookie that we have found in Raul Mondesi. We're looking for the, like, Jason Berets and, oh, goodness, I can't even think of what other rookies there were in 93, but I'm sure we'll find some. I'm also separating my Blue Jays out, but Paul Molitor, he's a Hall of Famer, so we'll put him right there. What else we got? Trevor Hoffman with the Padres Hall of Famer. Okay, Andres Galarraga, some people feel he belongs in. Fernando Venezuela, he was not eh, really Hall of Fame quality his whole career, but man, Fernando Mania there for those few years, huge. Wade Boggs, Diamond Tribute, Hall of Famer. Robin Yount, Diamond Tribute, also Hall of Famer. I thought I had all these going in the same direction. Sorry about that. Jim Abbott, the one-handed wonder. Not to be insulting, just that's what I remember him going by or being called. Because um, he had literally only one hand. Kurt Gibson, superstar of the 80s, but not a Hall of Famer. Hey, Jason Bure, there we are. Out of Vancouver. That's a rookie. Okay, Derek Bell there, he had some good seasons, Andy Ashby, is this a rookie? Nope, second year, Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, nice, all right, let's put that stack there, Ro wrong stack, rookie, Jason Bure. Okay, American League rookie. We'll put him right up there. I'm going to move my sleeves here. I'm going to move this right there. All right, here we go. Willie Wilson, Spike Owen, some big names from the 90s. Aaron Seeley. Yep, that's the other rookie I was thinking of. Aaron Seeley. A couple of good pitching rookies, a couple of good fielding rookies. Outfield, it was great. If I see any more that I think I remember, I'm going to pull them out. Jim Leritz. Okay. One is a coach. Won a couple of series. Monty Smith there. We're going to see some of the uh, the fathers of current uh, ball players in here, I'm sure. Look for the, 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 the Bichettes and Biggio's. We'll see if they're in here. Doug Drabeck, I think his Kyle is a ball player. All right, there we go. Third handful down, rookie. We'll put Aaron down here. We got our Hall of Famers. I'm actually move that down so you can see the name. Okay, Robin Yount, insert card, nice. I think I'll do the same over here, just so you can see the name. Boom. Okay. Wade Boggs there with the insert. Um, you know, 90s, great time for baseball. You had the, the turning of the tides of the old... Um, the old school to a new age kind of pitching and, and hitting because of video. Um, video scouting was new. Um, I think Tony Gwynn is one of the first ones to do it. JT Snow, is he a rookie in this one? Yes, he is. That's a rookie, JT Snow. Um, yeah, Tony Gwynn. He's kind of, uh, if I recall, kind of a forefather of um, using film to do your scouting, to do your your prepping, your game prep. Um, I remember seeing that on Chili Davis there, good ball player, um, on Sports Center or uh, whatever ESPN's. There's Dante Bichette. There you go, Bo's dad. Um, 
Between the Lines? Behind the Lines? One of ESPN's shows. I remember them talking to to Tony Gwynn about his film watching and how he was scouting the the other pitchers. And that that's the 90s. That was the beginning. That was the beginning of uh, film scouting and... And the, the league's never been the same since. Manny Ramirez? Yes, that is. Oh, my goodness. Nice. I didn't flip that one over. Okay, Danny Cox from the Blue Jays. I might have missed a few Blue Jays. Why did I not get these flipped? I apologize. I thought I had. All right. So, yeah, that, the, the changing of the new guard or old guard to the new guard. Nolan Ryan, Hall of Famer, Diamond Tribute, Paul Molitor, Diamond Tribute, and Hall of Famer. So far, we're six for six on these uh, tribute cards being Hall of Famers. Nice. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Apparently, I did not flip these over. I just broke them up. Cliff Floyd. Hampton, Brian Harvey, some bigger, bigger names of that era pitching wise. There was always some new movement. This was kind of also, it wasn't the beginning of free agency, but it's when it really kind of started taking off and you had some big names moving around. Darnell Coles, Blue Jays. I'm not separating the Blue Jays for any reason except for they're my team and they were the champs. <laughs> uh, Geronimo Baroa, I remember that name. And Vinny Castilla with the Rockies. Nice. All right. Coming down the last stack, last couple of handfuls. So, it's a Traveling Tuesday. We stopped in Albany, Oregon at Gergen Sports Cards. Um, nice shop. They got some starting lineups there. Um, they got some modern stuff. I saw some of this end-of-the-era junk wax type cards. Um, they had some, some uh, vintage. Not much really out on display. But if you ask, there might be some more to check out in the back. Bo Jackson there. What could have been without that injury? Okay, Sedania with my Blue Jays. Um, another superstar of the 90s or 80s and 90s, Kevin Mitchell. Um, yeah, ask him. Like I said, card show August 9th. That's exciting. Um, I'm going to try to get up there. We'll see. I mean, it'll be three days after my birthday. And remember, celebrate my birthday with me. It's International Trading Card Day. Go to your local LCS. Get some cards. August 6th. Celebrate my birthday with me. It's almost like they knew. They knew who I was. I don't know. They're like, hey, it's his birthday. Let's celebrate. Baseball cards for everybody. <laughs> Lee Tinsley... What else we got here? We are wrapping it up. We got Ozzy Smith. Nice. I think this was his last year. So maybe a farewell card for him. Al Leiter. Blue Jays. Troy Percival. Yep. That's a rookie card. Nice. Dave Winfield Hall of Fame. Dave Winfield. Nice. Hall of Famer. The Diamond Tributes. George Brett. Yes. We are winding down. Wade Boggs Hall of Fame. I'm going to put Barry Bonds in here. This is the year he moved over to the Giants. There you go. Nice. I'm putting him in the Hall of Fame stack. I don't care what you say. <laughs> He's Either he belongs in there or he will be in there. Take your choice on how you want to word that. Um, yeah. Let's just even these out. We got ourselves Troy Percival, rookie. I'm sure I missed some of the rookies. Don't get me wrong. Um, 
but yeah, Barry Bonds. I mean, if Harold Baines is in, no offense to Harold Baines, but if Baines is in, you got to put Bonds in. All right, we got the rest of our inserts. George Brett. I'm going to move, spread these out just a little bit. Five on each row because they're supposed to be ten. Dave Winfield there. Winfield, one of those that really um, free agency helped him out. He bounced from one team to another to another, but always did well. It wasn't that he wasn't wanted. I think he just wanted a new challenge. I don't know. I don't know him personally. Carlton Fisk. Pudge. The first Pudge. <laughs> Lee Smith changed the game. Closer. Andre Dawson. The Hawk. Hall of Famer. Paul Molitor. Diamond Tribute. Nice. And the man, the Express, Nolan Ryan. Always loving it when I get a Nolan Ryan card. Here's some Manny Ramirez. I'm going to get this Dawson. I'm going to put him up here with Winfield. Manny Ramirez, rookie. Manny Wood. You guys remember Manny Wood in Los Angeles? Man, they went crazy for him. JT Snow. The Angels had some Good young ball players. There we go. All right. So we got ourselves the tributes. We got ourselves the Hall of Famers. We got ourselves the rookies. I think I'm covering up a couple of Hall of Famers with some rookies. That's unacceptable. Goose Gossage and Greg Maddox. There we go. And this is the update series or the final edition as Fleer called it. So you're not getting all the superstars or all the Hall of Famers or all the all-stars from 93. This is just those that moved. Or in the case of Ryan, I think uh, Brett and Smith and maybe even Yount, these were kind of tributes to the old school moving on. Um, there you go. Good stuff. I, I'm excited. I'm I'm happy I got this set that I found it at uh, Gergen Sports Cards out in Albany. I had not seen this set before, so very excited that I got it. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this. It's a traveling Tuesday. Here's the info on uh, Gergen Sports Cards again out in Albany. Um, all right. Get out there, go to some LCSs, go to some non-your LCSs. <laughs> Check out what you might not know. Check out what you can find. Traveling Tuesday here at Bossman Sports Cards. We're having fun. Fleer 93 Final Edition. Bossman here. Bossman Sports Cards. Bossman out.